You might have seen this. There's outrage on social media after photos from the men's and women's NCAA March Madness tournaments appear to show two very different setups. Here's what the weight room looks like for the men's teams playing in Indiana. It looks like a typical college weight room with barbell plates and other equipment. And this is what the women have been supplied with, with where they're playing in Texas. Our Chris Costa spoke with a Mainer currently playing in the Division I women's tournament and a former Duke coach who both say this disparity is nothing new. I got something to show y'all. So for the NCAA March Madness, the biggest tournament in college basketball for women, this is our weight room. Let me show y'all the men's weight room. That's University of Oregon student athlete Sedona Prince shining a light on the disparity between the facilities at the men's and women's NCAA basketball tournaments. It's ridiculous and everyone agrees it's wrong, but then why did it happen? Former Duke University and UMaine head coach Joanne Palumbo McCauley has seen this type of inequity firsthand. This happens by accident, meaning a lack of leadership somewhere, lack of organization, and understanding and people aren't talking to people at the NCAA. There's a lack of communication. In this case, somebody's not taking care of business. It's a disparity that under federal law never should have happened. The rule called Title IX requires equity in any educational program or activity. And as it relates to sports, specifically requires equal equipment and supplies, as well as many other aspects. In a statement, the NCAA's vice president of women's basketball says part of the issue is due to limited space and said they had plans to expand the space, but now they are actively working to bring in more equipment. Let me show y'all something else. Here's our practice court, right? And then here's that weight room. And then here's all this extra space. Gorham native and Indiana University basketball player Mackenzie Holmes told New Center Maine, this isn't the first time something like this has happened, and it's concerning some people don't see the issue. Of course it's frustrating, but I'm trying to look at the bright side, that we get the opportunity to be here and keep focused on the games. Bottom line, there's no excuse to be denied basic amenities. If you aren't upset about this problem, then you're a part of it.